All right, the next thing that we're gonna have to do is go to the page layouts and we're going to edit the knowledge layout. Now, when you're presenting this, there's, there's the understanding that there's going to be a need for a layout for the person creating the knowledge article and they're gonna have a few additional fields and there's going to be a, a layout for the user, the end user who eventually sees the knowledge article. Um, and for them, they should probably only see title and uh, article body, um, unless there's other fields that are required in the page. But for our purposes, we're gonna worry about the uh, internal user and we'll see the same thing in the portal, but we need to be able to do a couple of things. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to add our article body from the field list. Just drag it, drop it right in there under title, and you might wanna uh, rearrange a couple of things. The next things that you're going to need to add are visible to customer and visible to partner. These check boxes indicate whether or not the article is going to be allowed to be seen to a customer community portal um, or to a partner community portal user. So I recommend adding both. Um, these are really the two fields uh, along with URL name that when you create your end user view, you wanna take uh, these two fields off. But for the internal view, we need to be able to say publish to these places. So you wanna add them in. So let's save that. I meant to quick save. Let's go back in there. The next thing you wanna do is you should see a section here that is the global actions. You're gonna to wanna to click a little um, gear icon so that you can add your own actions. You wanna to come to the mobile and lightning actions. You wanna find the publish and the edit as draft buttons and you wanna drag them both in. So once you drag them both in, you can, you can again click save and our page layout is pretty much good to go. So you can't just use a page layout because we're in lightning now. So there has to be a container for it. So the container for it is the uh, lightning record page. You'll probably have to create a new one. Uh, when you create a new one, it's probably going to be blank. So click on new, go for the blank one, choose object uh, and choose a layout of, let's just walk through it actually. So we'll click a new one. We're gonna say it's a record page. We're gonna say it's the knowledge object. And I like the header and right sidebar, which is pretty standard for Salesforce, so we'll choose that one. So now you'll be in the page builder and you'll see that you have three sections that you can add things to, but there's nothing here. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to add is the highlights panel. This is where buttons will be present. This is where a little bit of information about the um, record that you're on is present, the version, whether it's published, etc. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to add is the record detail. The record detail is going to show you what, art, what, what information is in the article, the article body, the title, your visible to customer and your visible to partner buttons. Um, so main, most of your interaction. The third thing you wanna add, and this is the most important, is the article data categories. And you can add that over here. So once we've got all of those things together, we can save and you can activate the page. And when you activate it, activate it as the, as the org default. So you activation, you'll say assign as org default. Um, I've already got one assigned, so I'm not gonna do it, but once you do that, it'll it'll do a couple of questions, just click through um, and confirm, and we should be good. 